So I got a DM from a guy and he's like, hey man, do you feel like I could make it, like I could chase my dreams if I have a kid, right? That's a crazy question. And there's a lot of ways to look at it. And that's what I wanna talk about. What up underdog, Rob Level here. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about kids. Shoot, maybe not even, I don't even really gotta be your kids. They could be somebody else's kids. <laughs> First of all, trigger warning. You know, this might really make you really angry. Sure. But as usual, I'm just speaking, you know, how I feel the truth. And this information is only to help yeah. people. Um, I'm not trying to be disrespectful or rude. And really, depending on how you take this message and take this video, kid can be anything that is like your baby, something you care about. So it can be your music. Some people, their baby's their car. But overall that, I am speaking about children. Human beings, okay? Or, or your dog, if you're a dog mom. Come on now, dog. So are they fuel, are they helping, are they hurting you? Let's discuss this, are they slowing down your dreams? And here's my full opinion on this. What's interesting is it can go in both directions. And what I mean by that is it depends on your perspective. It depends on how much you truly care. It depends on if having the child actually makes you more driven. And then obviously there's a lot of other variables as well, such as what is the drain of resources yeah. and the drain of energy yeah. and the drain of time? Yeah. Who watches the kid? Is there somebody there that can watch the kid? When you have the right balance of these things, this is how you'll make it work. I'm gonna talk about all this in this video. In order to make it work, everything can be built into something that is used as fuel, Excuse right? Me. Everything can be used to really get to your dreams and your goals if you learn how to change your own perspective on things and how to adjust certain things in a way, even when they may seem out of your control or like you don't have power over them, there's a way to be able to adjust these things to make them give you more strength than it does actually making you weaker. First of all, let's talk about all the negatives of having a kid, Bruh. things that'll affect you and slow you down. And then I'm gonna talk about the positives to go, you know, go into that more of a better light. First of all, a kid, you already know, when that kid comes to the world, that kid is supposed to be the only thing, like the thing you care about offspring-wise from an evolutionary standpoint, this is your offspring. You need to do whatever you can to make them just the best they can to get them ready for survival to be as healthy as they can. All that, you know, that's just part of who you are in your DNA to that level, okay? Every cell in your body. Now, um, obviously people do abandon families and certain things, but like it depends on a lot of factors. But typically, you know what I'm saying? ED. So just thinking about it like that, knowing that evolutionarily you're supposed to be like that. Like it's pretty obvious that all your resources are gonna go into a kid. And if you've ever seen some of the shocking stats, the statistics and how much money it actually costs to raise a kid from zero to eight, it's absolutely ridiculous, okay? So of course the kid's gonna take your money and then you're gonna have to spend time. You wanna raise the kid, you wanna do all these other things. That is gonna cost you time and then your time is money. And eventually, you know, when you're making money, you'll really, really understand that. You know it now, but when you're making money, you will really understand that. Bro. Never thought I would understand as much as I do now, like, but trust me, your time is so important. Please value it. Message. Then there's the amount of the emotional take that happens from a child with the care, you know, and I'm not just talking about the sleepless nights in the beginning <laughs> stages, which is a whole, gonna be a whole other phase, okay? And what I mean is if there's something happens with your kid or, you know, anything that is, just, it takes away from the energy that you need to be able to put into something else that you're building, most likely building for the child, for yourself, for your family, and then also, you know, for the child or whichever order of importance they are to you. Because there's that mental drain of, my energy is going towards this child, thinking about its well-being, thinking about all of this, and instead that those thoughts, that energy, because you can only make so many decisions in a day, you only have so much energy a day, okay? You're only human, yeah. right? There's a finite amount of energy, okay? That same energy could really be put somewhere else. He ain't lying. And that's crazy when you think about it, because like, of course, like people are like, yeah, a kid's a burden. But now let's think about the other side of it. Like, I mean, there's no there's no doubt about it that a, a child is a burden, but then there's the trade-offs, okay? And it all depends on your perspective, because some people only see their children as a burden, and they feel like the child held them back from their dreams. I'm sure you know a lot of people that think like this. Yeah. That there's a lot of them, you know, and maybe sometimes your parents make you feel like you are that person. But then there's the other side of it, which is you get to watch this child grow. You know that this child is a part of who you are. You know that there's a feeling that it's gonna give you every time you see happiness in that person, in a little version of you. And that's gonna be a happiness you're not gonna be able to witness or get out of anything else in your entire life. It's gonna be a different form of happiness that somebody who does not have a kid is not really capable of actually like getting that emotion. That is a bonus. You Only you get that. Only you get to smile that much. I read some studies that showed that, pe and this was interesting, is that people with children actually are happier. And here's why. Because a child is so lighthearted and hasn't seen the darkness in the world yet, hasn't been affected by trauma or depression or bullying or all these other things that really like, really push down on us and like cause mental health issues. Come on. Because a child hasn't been through that, guess what the child's doing all day long? It's giggling and laughing at everything, even its own toes. <laughs> okay, like it's, think about that. All right, it's learning, but it already knows how to laugh. And the study shows that because babies are laughing so much and laughing is contagious because a, a child, a child will laugh more than 50 times in a day. 50 times. How many times did you laugh today? <laughs> I don't think 
think I've laughed today. I think I laughed. I think I laughed a couple times when I shot another video earlier, but I smiled a lot and I was grateful today, but I didn't laugh. There's a difference. And laughter is different. Help you live longer, even though you know, the other side of it is the stress that the kid has. But children will laugh 50 times in a day. That's crazy. And if you're around that child, what happens? You laugh. Think about that. So that's the type of joy you don't, you get to experience somebody else doesn't. Like, that's amazing. So that's a positive. Yeah. Now let's talk about as far as the dreams go. Because with the dreams, we have to we have to dissect this and think about this. Because if you really want something, you want to chase your dream, you want to chase music, you want to chase acting, whatever your dream is, you want to start a business for your family. You want to be successful at these things. If you want to do these things, things, the key to it is going to be adapting your mind and changing your perspective in a way that truly emphasizes the child actually being the fuel and really being a fire. Because people say, oh, once my kid was born, I had more drive. And yeah, you did, but you have to learn how to utilize the child as more than just that bit more drive. Because that bit more drive was just the enough energy past the drive you already had. That's the energy level that's taking care of the child. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's say you went from 50% to 80% of your energy levels. You know what I'm saying? Of, of like being more driven. You became 30% more driven. When that child's born, 30% of that energy gets allocated towards that child, if not a little bit more. So when you say you're driven, Excuse which me. of course you are, biologically, okay, you need more than that. So you have to learn psychologically how to position in your mind, truly position this child as more than just, I really care. I got to do what I can for my family. That's automatic. You need to double that. You need to get in the 90s, okay? You need to at least get another 10 15 percent because that extra drive is what's going to help you what? right so you you may have got that boost but you need more than that boost you need to learn how to change your perspective to get that child to give that to you convince yourself that you can build that business Come on. and convince yourself you can make the time because you have a lot of time put into this child so how can you do that? Like uh one. you're gonna have to reposition your life you're gonna have to change things around and what i mean by that is establishing things in your life in a way that's really feasible obviously because you can't just like magically do things but where time that gets allocated towards the child like somebody else is taking care of the child like like the the mom or the grandma and we all, you always want to pawn off your kid on somebody else in a way because <laughs> you want time to yourself but you had really have to learn how to do that in a way that is not pushing them or getting in their way and then allows you to have that free time and then you actually utilize that free time yes, you're not really going to be able to have free time <laughs> That's the problem. And that goes back to it really draining on your resources. It's gonna be difficult. Bruh. I hear so many people, so many artists, I've ran to in the street, oh, I can't, I have, man, you know, so why haven't done this? Oh, man, y'all got kids. I'm talking in the street alone, dozens of times. Online, DMs, hundreds of times. People are always saying, if I ask them why this, why that, it's often, and if they have kids, the kids get brought up, Damn, okay? Son. But there's people who have kids who become extremely successful, right? And those are the people that learn to set the timing of how this works, who has the kid, and then use that and push forward. So you can, but of course, it's gonna be more of a drain on you. But at the same time, maybe you can use it for a bit more fuel for yourself. But there won't be no more resting. Per night. That's the thing, so you don't get any more of those breaks. That's the thing with having a kid, is those go away, but you're gonna be looking for that, that drive increase. And I'm sharing that because I got a DM from somebody saying, hey man, do you feel like you can make it if you have kids? So, you know, when I saw that, I was like, man, that's, it's like something that like people think they already know the answer to. Bro. But I don't think it's something that anybody went more in depth into, as far as like the person. I think that the person thinking, can I make it if I have a kid, is thinking, you know, directly in who they are as a person right now, and already sees the kid as the hindrance or the, the robot block in a way or has convinced themselves that the kid's the hustle but it helps them with the hustle but it doesn't translate in a way that they, they don't see that they actually have more hustle unless you really really do like you don't see it because you got to execute and see the results of this and not just say it okay and I wanted to make this video and you know go deeper into that because you can't see it if you're if you're the person sitting sitting there you just can't see you're in that world so while breaking it down there are benefits and then there are minuses and then I mean in my opinion I mean this is just me look I'm gonna tell you right now after all this I'm gonna say I don't have any kids you're probably like Rob shut the hell up you know what I mean kid but that's why I'm trying to I'm giving this information I got a dog all right shut up no but listen this is what I like telling people and I hope this inspires you let me tell you this right now when it comes to kids and this does not mean don't have a kid because I wanted I want I still want like four, I want a squad of kids okay like I love I, I think I'm gonna be an incredible dad I didn't really have parents I want to give that to somebody else you know what I'm saying give them all the things I didn't have that I work for the my personality minus all the crappy stuff in me I want to do that so I hope this video helped you in some way please don't hate me all right I'm just I'm just saying it from my perspective because I know you can't see that. All right, I'm guilty. Oh, and I'm Rob Level. Keep hustling, underdog, and I'll see you at the top. Pockets already fed. I ain't got a fuzzy numbers. Could've made it, then I put in two extra summers. So high up now, all I see is buzz. I even step outside. We got a jumper. I ain't even hit a type of up. Shooting for the biggest in the game. I'm 300, so small. I can't even try to be dumb. If I give you my numbers, probably missing the number. Oh, you wanna hate on me? We'll get in line. I'll be fine. People treat.
seeing me like working all the crime out of time I'm like, why you even mind? You got no mind, do you mind? That's why love and trust in me so deep that shit get hard to find